It's 3 a.m. You got me waiting for your love. I'm at the corner of the club. It's pouring down, but I won't. No, I won't budge. I call your bluff. You think you're tough, yeah. So go ahead, come and pick me up. Bring all your friends so they can watch. You're drunk, dialing up the phone. So here I am at 3 a.m. You got me looking crazy, baby. These wicked little games you play, yeah. So step up to the plate, don't wait. It's 3 a.m. So here I am. Oh. All right, workout is done. Whew, that was a lot. This four days a week business. It catches up to you. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my fitness coach actually upped my workouts to four days a week now instead of three. So I actually was just here and did legs on Saturday. Now I'm back doing legs today. I walked yesterday. So my body, she tired, but I feel really good. I'm seeing a lot of muscle definition, especially in my legs, shoulders, arms, which is exactly what I'm after regardless of the scale. I actually saw a post in my Facebook group today. Someone was saying that they're a big cardio junkie and that they really want to start incorporating strength training because they're flabby, but they don't want to see the scale go up. And let me just tell you, the scale is going to go up. Not only is the scale going to go up, but it's going to stay the exact same for quite a while because your body is adjusting to adding in strength training. Even though the scale goes up and the scale stays the same, your body is going to change so, so much. I'm going to insert the picture here that I shared a while ago in a video and on my Facebook group. You guys, this is a couple of week difference and less than four pounds. And look at how my body has changed. And in fact, I saw my neighbor yesterday and she made a comment. She's like, you look so good, so toned. And that's in a matter of six weeks of implementing strength training. So don't be scared of the scale going up because all the other changes in your body are so, so, so so worth it. So incorporate strength training. Building lean muscle and maintaining the muscle we have is so incredibly important. Good morning. I am officially home from the gym. I am dressed for the day. First thing I want to put you guys on to is this little tank top. This top is from Lululemon. Now, I know Lululemon is expensive, but let me put you on to this top. It is so incredibly comfortable. It has a built-in bra. I love that, that it has a bra already built into it. It's a really nice length. It's really comfortable. Kind of sucks everything in. I really like it. I saw it on YouTube. Someone had it on their channel and I ordered it and we know Lululemon is pretty pricey. This is definitely worth it. And this isn't too expensive for what it is. You could wear this working out, but this to me is perfect for summer because it has a built-in bra. It holds everything in place. Super, super cute. So I threw that on some fun little animal print earrings, my animal print headband. These headbands are from Amazon. I'll link them for you. And then I don't even know where I got this necklace. So I'm pretty much dressed for the day other than shoes. I ordered some new shoes. I have been loving picking up new shoes. With my weight loss, my shoe size has went down a little bit. So it's been kind of nice being able to buy new shoes that fit me a little bit better than my old size of shoe. So I actually bought two super cute pairs of shoes. Great for summer, great for fall, great for winter even. They are from the brand Vivala. Wait till you guys see these shoes. They are so cute. I'll link them down below for you guys with a discount for 15% off. So here's the first pair that I picked up. These are so adorable. They do have the strappy back, the little heel. Now I am pretty tall, so I usually don't buy shoes that have a tall heel. And this is about as tall of a heel as I really like, but these are absolutely beautiful. Look at I love the texture and the pattern on the shoe. I'm really excited to try these on and I needed a new pair of black, kind of slip on a little bit more dressy shoes. Okay, I love these. I seriously love these. They are so comfortable. I mean, it feels like I'm wearing slippers. They are that comfortable. I love the little heel, the strap feels really comfortable on my feet. I don't feel like my toes are scrunched in these. And then the second pair 
are mules. I have been obsessed with mules. I shared a pair, I shared mules in my last clothing haul, and ever since then, I've really, really liked them. Every time I wear those mules, I get lots of compliments. I have a lot of brown shoes, colorful shoes, silver shoes, black shoes, so I wanted to get a pair of mules that were a little bit more of a nude color. Look at how beautiful these are. I love this strappy design. I love the cream color and again we have a pretty small heel because i'm tall these are perfect for any outfit you could wear these with shorts a jumper a skirt you could even dress these up with a really cute summer dress so i'm really excited about these as well okay i just found my new favorite pair of shoes oh my gosh again couldn't be any more comfortable. This strap feels really nice across my feet. There's lots of room and give in there. And I think that the pointed toe mule is so cute. Again, we have the little heel. These are so comfortable. Again, this these shoes from Vivala, they literally feel like slippers. I am stunned with how comfortable they are. I am stunned. I'm absolutely floored on how comfortable these are. I hate uncomfortable shoes. And I know me, if they're uncomfortable, I'm not going to wear them. I am not joking when I say that these are some of the most comfortable shoes I have ever, ever put on my feet. I'm putting those mules back on right now for the rest of the day. I shared with you guys a little bit about the brand and their mission for sustainability, which I also really love. You know I'm all about some more supporting small businesses and brands that give back to the community or brands that have sustainability for our environment. And Vivala is everything rolled into one. Comfortable, beautiful, affordable shoes with sustainability. And actually speaking of sustainability, on the side of the box it says no waste, just misplaced treasure. You decide what it's going to be when you upcycle your box. So you can actually upcycle the box, which you should always be recycling your shoe boxes anyways. But I also love that it says step into conscious, comfort, stylish, and sustainable. I'll put here on the screen my thoughts after wearing these all day. When I edit this video, I'll let you know if the comfort remain the same all day. They have so many amazing styles on their website. They have every style of shoe, and they're all a sustainable product. So I will make sure that I link Vivala down below for you guys with 15% off so that you can do some shopping, support a fantastic company, and a sustainable mission-based company as well. All right, I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> definitely need some breakfast slash a snack. So I'm going to do, let's see, it's 110 grams per serving. I'm actually going to do 160 grams of the Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese. You guys know this is my favorite. And then I actually have some crushed pineapple left over from my meal prep. So I've been trying to eat this up and it is so good on the cottage cheese. So I'm probably going to do 50 grams of crushed pineapple. And then I'm going to have one of my protein balls that I made in this week's meal prep. So if you haven't seen this week's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you, but that should be enough to tide me over until lunch. And here is my snack. This looks so good. It is packed with protein. I love cottage cheese because it keeps me super, super full. Okay, it's time to do some more organization. You guys have really liked seeing all the home organization that I've been doing. I have two more home organization products that I'm really excited about. This package actually came a few days ago and I've been holding on to it impatiently because I'm really excited to use them. These are refrigerator storage container fresh keepers. These are BPA free, super, super affordable, really nice quality, really pretty. I mean, aesthetically pleasing fridge organizers. I get asked all the time about the fresh keepers that I have had for a few years now. They're actually from Costco. I don't think they sell them anymore and mine are really kind of gross. They didn't actually wear the best over time. So can you see down in the bottom? That is like a crusty kind of discoloration on the base of the container. I can't get it off. And it even has, you know, brown. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. And even on this container as well, you can see all the kind of gunk even on the sides. It's just, they didn't wear as well. I mean, granted they are a few years old. I do throw them in the dishwasher. They did say that they were dishwasher safe, but it was time for some new 
refrigerator storage containers. I store all of my fruits, my vegetables in these. It definitely helps with the longevity of your produce. So I ordered these off of Amazon. These are the Lux Ear Fresh Storage Containers. These were much more affordable than these. You get more in the package. I'll link them down below for you guys with a 10% off coupon. But I just bought some fruit. I actually just received my Imperfect Foods order. And like I said, I've been impatiently waiting to share these with you guys and get my fruit and vegetables into these because it really, really helps with the longevity. So it's a BPA-free five-piece set. These are really nice. These are actually nicer quality than I even thought that they would be. They have handles, which I appreciate. The other ones from Costco did not, and sometimes the lids were a little bit hard to get off. They do have the snap side closure. Oh my gosh, there's so many sizes. That was the other thing I was really excited about, is that these came in multiple different sizes. So. It is a three-piece set per size. So you have the little base, you have the colander. This is what is going to keep your vegetables extra fresh. And I like how this one sits off the bottom a little bit so that the water and any moisture can drain from your fruits or vegetables. And then you have the snap-on lid with the little handle. These are really nice. I mean, really nice quality. So that's the smallest one. And then we have one size larger. This size, perfect, perfect for veg. And then I like that there are two big containers. One you could use for larger vegetables. And then I was thinking that the largest one can actually be used for lettuce because lettuce goes bad so quickly. And if you do put it in one of these Fresh Keeper refrigerator savers, it definitely makes your lettuce last longer. The entire set of five is $28.99 and then you have your discount code as well. So much more affordable than Costco. I think the four that I bought there were almost $30. These are actually a food grade material. They're BPA free. They're durable, flexible, and odorless. That was one other thing that I wanted is something that wasn't going to ha have any odor. So what I'm going to do is wash these up and then we'll get our fruits and vegetables in these and really put these to the test. So I have all my veggies and fruit ready to go. So I have my little Persian cucumbers. I love these. I'm actually going to have some of these for lunch today. I also have some fresh strawberries, two packages of raspberries, a package of blueberries, and then I have Troy's Revolve Greens and some baby spinach. I'm going to mix these two together in the largest container. containers are perfection. This actually holds two huge packs of salad. So even a Costco size salad container would fit in here. That was an entire bag of cucumbers. We, pr we could fit two bags. Two packages of raspberries fit beautifully. We could even throw one more in. And this was the two pound pack of strawberries. And that is perfect for that size of container. And then as far as blueberries go, we could definitely throw in another small package of blueberries. So this would hold two blueberries, three packages of raspberries, two pounds of strawberries, bags, two bags of cucumbers, and a huge thing of lettuce. Wow, I love these. My Costco ones, they are being retired, going in the trash. These are so much nicer. I'm gonna pop these in my refrigerator and we'll see how easily they stack. All right, we have all our veggies and our fruit, and I will say that the containers will also fit in your produce drawers. Mine are just full. I, like I said, I just went grocery shopping and got my Imperfect Foods order. The Luxier Produce Fruit Food Storage Containers, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love these. They are so affordable, and again, you can pick them up off of Amazon. I'll link them down below with a discount. So I actually have four coaching calls today. Three of them are hour long calls and a half an hour call. I have a really good dinner recipe to share with you and a dessert. One of my coaching clients sent me an Instagram post of this dessert and we're making it tonight. I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna hop on my coaching call. See how hot it is out today. It's already warm and it's still pretty early in the day. Oh yeah, it's definitely warm out here. 
I wanted to give you guys an update on my plants. So I had asked you guys what these were. You all came back and told me that these are Mexican birds of paradise. And I, we love these. Aren't they beautiful? We have two of them in our front yard. I mean, they're so pretty. It definitely needs a trim hanging over our sidewalk, but we have two of them. And they're just really, really beautiful. So thank you for letting me know that those are the Mexican birds of paradise because I had no idea. And then we also love our little palm tree in our yard too. So since I'm out here and the garbage truck just came, I'll go ahead and bring the garbage up. Troy is golfing again with his dad and stepmom. So I actually have the whole house to myself. And then when he gets home, we should have the dog's bark box here. So we'll open that up with you guys because I know you love seeing Palmer get so excited for his babies. All right, so my lunch is ready. I'm really excited for this. So you saw me weigh out 100 grams of raspberries. I have one of the mini Persian cucumbers. This is a honey bourbon mustard that I picked up from Two Back when I was with my mother-in-law. Zero calories, zero points. And then I have three ounces of the Just Bear chicken nuggets. These are a dupe for the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. They're really good. Troy and I absolutely love these. I bought my bag at Costco. I don't know where else they sell them, but three ounces is a serving, which is what I have here. It looks like about six nuggets. So this is a perfect, perfect lunch for me. I've got veggies, fruit, and protein. I have a coaching call in 15 minutes, so we're gonna try to eat our lunch before then, but I wanted to try the Just Bear Nuggets with this mustard I bought. I haven't tried it, and this mustard is so good. I usually use the French's honey mustard, which is also amazing on the chicken nugget, so cheers. Mm, that's really good. It tastes just like the French's honey mustard with just a little bit of a maple note to it. Really, really delicious though. Okay, I'm back with some more organization. We did the fridge, we have our fruits, our vegetables, all organized. I also wanted to share with you my slim storage cart that I picked up. This thing is so perfect for my office. I have a space alongside my vanity. So between my vanity and the table that sits in my office that has my printer on it, I have a pretty small slim space in between that and my vanity. And I wanted something for storage purposes, whether it be makeup, skincare, hair care, my vanity's full because I have a lot of skincare, makeup, and hair care products. So I wanted a cart that would fit in that really small space. So I picked up the Space Caper 3 Tear Slim Rolling Storage cart. It actually comes in white, gray, or black. I went ahead and chose gray just because it goes with the aesthetic in my office. It is a flexible three-tier storage cart that is slim for tight spaces in your house. So places like your closet, kitchens, bathrooms, garages, laundry rooms, offices, in between your washer and dryer, or in my case, four extra vanity storage. It has four Easy Glide durable wheels that make the storage cart smooth and convenient to pull in and out of narrow spaces. And it has four extra side hoops for more storage. Super easy to put together. I mean, incredibly easy. It took Troy maybe five minutes to put it together. It's easy to install. It's made from plastic and stainless steel. Quick and easy snap together. Really easy care. You can wipe it off if it gets dirty. It can be adjusted as well to two 
or three shelves, depending on what you need for storage, whether it's in your bathroom, your kitchen. You can also remove the casters or the wheels and store it on a countertop. So it has a wide range of different applications and it's really nice quality. And like I said, super easy to put together. I want it mainly to store my extra makeup and I also use a fan to dry my face once I spray it with setting spray when I get ready in the morning. So the hooks on the side make it really, really easy to hang things for storage. I was also thinking the little hooks would be great for hair ties, scrunchies, just anything that needs to be hung up and out of the way. I kept the three shelves just because I can definitely utilize all three shelves. I like that it is made of a plastic stainless steel material because we know how messy makeup can get and it's super easy to wipe it down. It can really be used in any room in your home. I'm considering picking up a couple more. There's room in my spare bathroom, my kitchen, my closet. A lot of uses for the Space Keeper three rolling car. So I think it's a really, really good storage solution. And again, if you live in an apartment or a tight space, even tiny houses, this would be such a great tool for storage. It's also affordable and again, comes in white, black, and gray. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested in adding the Slim Keeper 3 for an extra bit of storage for your house. So I am going to quickly put together my post-workout. I share this all the time with you guys. This is the 6 a.m. run finish line. I have the flavor watermelon. This is a great post-workout supplement. It has some BCAAs in it. It helps with soreness, fatigue, and aids in recovery. I'm always sore after my workout and like I mentioned, this is my second leg day. Pretty much back to back so I'm definitely in need of this today. So I just put one scoop of it in my Lululemon water bottle add some water, some ice, shake it up. And I think I'm gonna sit on the couch, sip on this, and I got a new blanket that I wanna share with you guys that I've also been loving post-workout. All right, so I've got my 6 a.m. run. Shake it up really good. This is delicious, by the way. I'll link the 6 a.m. run and my bottle down below. Let me grab my blanket and share with you guys this super cool blanket that I got for post-workout, or really just when you need a little bit of cooling in your life in general. So this is the L Gear cooling blanket Q Max. It's an arc chill cooling blanket. If you're a hot sleeper, it is double sided. It's lightweight. It's breathable. It's even good in the summer in the Arizona heat. It actually comes in a throw size, twin full queen and king, California king. So depending on if you want this blanket to be placed on your bed, you can choose the appropriate size. It comes in both blue and gray. It's super, super affordable, and there's even a 15% off coupon currently on Amazon. I'll make sure I link it on Amazon down below for you because that's the quickest, easiest way to get it and the least expensive price. When blankets are made of cotton or other fiber material, it can actually make you feel like you're sleeping in the Sahara Desert. Ella Gear Coastal Themed Cooling Blanket is like a cool, dream. It uses the Japanese Arc Chill Cool Technology fabric and it only takes five seconds to absorb your body heat and keep you cool and sweat free all night long. Troy is always complaining about being a hot sleeper and I made him turn up the thermostat in our house because our power bill was out of control when we left our house at 70 degrees so I made him turn it up to 75. So he has been loving this cooling blanket as well. I love this blanket for after I work out. It's fully machine washable or hand washable. I do recommend a laundry bag to prevent snagging and scratching if you are going to go ahead and throw it into your washer. And again, it comes in four sizes to meet every need and every size that you would possibly want. I love it for snuggling up on the couch, in bed, in the car. It's great for travel. Maybe you want to take a nap in the office. It'd be perfect for the beach or swimming pool or even the park where it's super hot. And again, I love it post-workout. It really helps just cool my body temperature down and helps give my muscles that nice cooling sensation. So I'm about to make my afternoon snack. Troy is home from golfing and BarkBox showed up. Today has been the day of packages and I thought that I would show you what's in my July Bark Box. And of course, as always, we'll pick out a toy to give to Palmer because he gets really excited about that. So it looks like this month's theme, pool party animal. What is that? Look at how cute this is. Okay, so let's dig into the box. Let me first pull this little thing out here. So it says, we'll make sure playtime goes swimmingly. Here's all the toy options that you could have gotten in your box. And as always, you can buy these toys 
in addition to what you get in your box if you want to. So cute, a belly rub breeze. Two cups frozen watermelon, one third cup light coconut milk. Blend watermelon until it's mashed up. Add the coconut milk and blend into a smoothie. And then it says garnish with a dog treat. So you can actually give that to your dog. My dogs love watermelon. He's right here, he knows what's happening. Okay, so sneakily, let me show you what we got. So we got this cute little guy right here. This says pool boy pouches, sniffs on the beach. So this is like the, what is it, Capri Sun pouches. And this is super cute. So this is a pool float that is a unicorn. And then we got two bags of treats. So we have the cheesy, peasy, soft baked cheese treats. And then we have the wakey wakey bacon and oatmeal recipe. And then we have a, pump, oh, pumpkin and honey. I think this is the same stick thing we got in last month's box. And my dogs actually really like that. So we'll give them a treat so they can try out the treats. But first we gotta decide which one for Palmer. So Troy Clayton, should we give Palmer the little Capri Sun or the pool floaty? Pool floaty. <gasps> oh, he's right here. He is right here. All right, I'll have Troy give it to him and you guys can see him. You know how excited he gets every time. Oh, pumpkin, did it come from your bark box? Oh, yeah, get your new baby. Yay. Oh, there he goes. We usually get the zoomies and we do some laughs. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Whoa, hang on. He's going to come this way. Yeah. Yay. He's so excited, buddy. All right, now let's give the dogs one of their treats. Let's do this thing. <laughs> we'll go ahead and give them that pumpkin honey thing. They really liked that last time. Did you abandon your pool float? Okay, this is your treat out of your bark. Oh, no, Diesel, this is Palmer's honey. Oh, there you go. Here, baby. Oh, yes, good. All right, Diesel, now it's your turn. There you go. They love the treats. Pool float is over here, but I'm sure he'll be back for it. So if you're interested in BarkBox, I'll link it down below. It's super fun to get every month. And if you pay for six months or get a six month subscription, it's really, really affordable. Two, tr two toys, a bone of some sort, and two bags of treats. So I'll link it down below for you. So I'm going to make an afternoon snack. I have had back-to-back -back coaching calls all day. I have another one here in less than an hour. So we're gonna make a snack to tide us over until we have dinner. Stay tuned for tonight's dinner recipe. So good going to be so good. So I'm going to use a scoop of my Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder. This is one of my all-time favorite little smoothies to make. I actually made it, I think in last week's What I Eat in a Day, I had a major fail where it spilled everywhere. It was so good. It's kind of been my go-to and it is a big bang of protein. So this actually has 20 I can't read it. 25 grams of protein. And then I always use Fairlife milk, usually the low fat, 80 calories, another 13 grams of protein. And then I add in some Lily's chocolate chips. They get crushed up into the protein shake and it just adds that little bit of texture and sweetness. So I just use my magic bullet. I mean, you could use a blender, a hand blender. I'm going to weigh out on my food scale, eight ounces or one cup of milk. Make sure you set it to fluid ounces. Zero it out, and then eight ounces is a cup. I'm going to add one scoop of my ghost protein powder. A few of you have reached out and said how good the Ghost Nutter Butter Protein Powder is, so that is the next one that I'm going to buy. I really, really like the Ghost. It does not hurt my stomach. There are some protein powders out there that just don't sit very well in my stomach, and Ghost actually is perfect. And then I'm going to add in just about a tablespoon or so of the Lily's Chocolate Chips. Okay. We're not spilling it this time. Oh my gosh, that was such a mess in last week's video. If you missed last week's What I Eat In A Day, I'll link it down below for you. It actually all got caught on camera. So here is what it looks like. This is the perfect consistency. I can still drink it through a straw, and my big glass straws are great for the chocolate chips to come out as well. I'll link the glass straws for you guys in the description box. All right, taste test. Mmm, it's so good. It tastes honestly like a milkshake. Mm. It tastes like a cookies and cream milkshake. I get the little bits of the Chips Ahoy, the chocolate chips, that creaminess from the ghost powder. 
I really, really, really recommend Ghost. For dinner tonight, we are making Thai chicken salad with peanut sauce. This sounds so light and refreshing. I'm really excited about this. Super simple recipe, so let's jump into what's in the Thai chicken peanut salad. First, you're going to need salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my amazing gravity-fed salt and pepper shakers down below for you. You'll need some sesame oil, soy sauce, honey, fresh ginger, powdered peanut butter, PB2, whatever you have on hand, lime juice, for convenience, if you can grab some shredded chicken, that's going to save a, a lot of time. So I have the Sprouts all white meat shredded chicken. You'll need a red bell pepper, lots of coleslaw. So I picked up a tricolor bag and a angel hair bag, some fresh cilantro, salted roasted peanuts, and garlic powder. So the first thing we're going to do is actually put together the dressing and then throw it into the refrigerator. So we'll need five tablespoons of PB2 or powdered peanut butter of your choice. And then we're going to add in enough water to make peanut butter consistency. So anywhere from three to five tablespoons. You'll just make it to the consistency that you want. You basically want it like a creamy peanut butter consistency. So that looks pretty good, pretty close to peanut butter. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. I don't know if you can hear Palmer and Lola playing in the background. A tablespoon of lime juice. A tablespoon of honey. Three additional tablespoons of water. Half of a teaspoon of sesame oil. This is a whole teaspoon, so I'm going to fill it up halfway. A teaspoon of fresh ginger. Some garlic powder salt and pepper. Mix that all together and that is the dressing for the salad. You can always add in some additional water to get more of a dressing consistency. It just kind of depends on how your PB2 mixes in. So there's our dressing. I'll give it another quick stir before we add it to the salad, but I'll tell you it smells really good. Now we're going to assemble the salad. Again, you guys, this is such an easy, easy recipe. I'm going to add both bags of coleslaw. I'm going to kind of mix it together because I did buy the tri-colored coleslaw and the angel hair coleslaw. I also pull out all these gross big chunks that comes in the bags of coleslaw. Then we're going to add the entire pack of chicken, half of a cup of chopped peanuts, our chopped cilantro and chopped red bell pepper. And then we're going to mix it all together. I'm going to go ahead and kind of shred up the chicken a little bit before I mix everything together for the salad. This looks so delicious. We're going to add in the dressing, a little more salt and pepper, and then mix it all together, and that's dinner. I mean, it is that simple. It is packed with protein, packed with healthy fats, lots of flavors. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited for this. Ooh, I'm so excited. So here is one serving of the salad. The batch actually makes six servings. This looks so incredibly delicious. I was thinking this would make a great barbecue cookout, potluck type of a cold dish for summer. I mean, all the colorful vegetables, the coleslaw, the crunch, the peanut sauce. Spoiler alert, I took a bite of it and it is a pretty dang amazing. So this is going to be tonight's dinner. So we have a special dessert tonight, but before we make the dessert, we have four brand new flavors of American Dream Nut Butter that just dropped yesterday, Tuesday. This is their whole back to school collection. I have all four of the new flavors. I have not even opened them up, so this is going to be our first taste test of them. I'll let you guys know what the calories are. I'll put the points here on the screen, but all four of these flavors sound super, super good, and then we're actually going to use the American Dream Nut Butter for tonight's extra special dessert. So nut butter number one is caramel apple strudel, and this is a cashew butter. It looks 
so good there's an actual apple strudel on the front of the packaging so you can see that there's all the mix-ins in there all of the american dream nut butter has really yummy mix-ins i mean everything from cookies and candies super super good so we're going to try just a little bit of each of the nut butters i want to make sure that i get some of the mix-ins so that i can give you a true honest first impression and again this is the caramel apple strudel cashier butt cashew butter cheers Mmm, oh my gosh, that's really good. Six grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, 11 grams fat, 150 calories in two tablespoons. Mmm, that is really good. It has crunchy bits of, I don't know, cookies? Maybe simulating the crust of the apple strudel. I taste apple, I taste cinnamon. It's really good. We have another cashew butter. This is brown sugar, sugar and cinnamon pastry pop. Uh, it is like the pop tarts. That also sounds really, really good. This one is 150 calories as well. Six grams of protein, 11 carbs, 10 fat. So I'm kind of mixing this one together. Ooh, there's all the mix-ins. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Can you see that? There's literal pieces of brown sugar and pop tarts. This is going to be really good. Ooh, it smells super, super good too. So let's try just a tiny bit of this one. Make sure I get the mix-ins. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. How are these so good? Mm. Cinnamon, brown sugar, crunchy bits of the pastry slash Pop-Tart. That is so good, oh my God. Next up is a peanut butter. I love their peanut butters. This is the Nutter Cookie Crunch Peanut Butter. So this is going to be based on the Nutter Butter Cookies, which I love the Nutter Butter Cookies. This one has eight grams of protein, eight carbs, 11 fat, 150 calories for two tablespoons. Also smells delicious. Ooh, there's a lot of mix-ins in this one. Oh my gosh, yum. Look at all the chunks. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for this. What in the world? It tastes like a Nutter Butter. I mean, the crunch of the cookie, the taste of the cookie, how do these get better and better every time they release new flavors? Oh my gosh, this one, incredible. And last but not least, I'm really excited about this. We have an almond butter. This is Starberry Blast. And you can see some cookies, some strawberries on there. Oh my gosh, looks delicious. This is 7.4 grams of protein, 5.7 carbs, 10.8 fat, 141 calories for two tablespoons. So this one actually has the least amount of calories. Oh my gosh, it smells like strawberry shortcake. <gasps> Ooh, can you see that? Look at that, oh my gosh, yum. I really, really like their almond butters. You can even see like some blue kind of sprinkles in there. Oh, I'm really excited for this. When you get your nut butters, make sure you stir them really well because all the mixins will settle to the bottom, just gravity and the weight in shipping. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Seriously? <laughs> This is so good. It's strawberry. It's vanilla cookie. It tastes like Oreos with strawberries. It is so delicious. Okay. Every single one of these, absolutely incredible, but let's rank them and I'll let you know what my favorite is to my least favorite. So my all-time favorite is the Starberry Blast. This is so delicious. It's so creamy and berry and cookie and sweet. And then I would say right after that is the Nutter Cookie Crunch. This peanut butter one so good. I do have to say that for me, I prefer the peanut butter and the almond butter. Most people honestly prefer the cashew butter, but I like the peanut butter and the almond butter. Next, I would put the caramel apple strudel, but I would say that it's pretty close to the brown sugar cinnamon pastry one. This one just has a little bit more flavor because it has the strudel and the apple, where this one is a little bit more cinnamony, pop tarty. Get these. They're limited edition. 
get these. But what we're gonna do is I wanna share with you a dessert recipe that one of my coaching clients told me about. She actually found it on Instagram, so I'll put all the information on for the Instagram account that this recipe comes from here on the screen for you. So for the dessert, you're going to need some rice cakes. Now you can use whatever rice cake that you want to use. You're going to need some Lily's chocolate chips or whatever chocolate chip you prefer. You're going to need nut butter, and I think what we're gonna do is the Nutter Cookie Crunch peanut butter, because I think this is gonna pair really nicely with the chocolate chips. And then you're going to need something to dip in, and I went ahead and picked up mini M&Ms. I think this will be really fun. You could also use chopped up peanuts, coconut, almonds. I mean, you could really do whatever you want. You just want something to dip, and you'll know what I mean when we start applying, when we start putting this together. Oh, one more thing is you're going to need some little wooden dowels or cake pop sticks or lollipop sticks. So the first thing you're going to do is take your rice cake and insert the stick. So I went ahead and slipped mine into the back because it was a little too hard to put it in the side, but you just want this stick in there to be able to dip your rice cake. Then we're going to melt down in the microwave a little bit of the American Dream nut butter and some chocolate chips. So I have two tablespoons of nut butter and I have a quarter cup of Lily's chocolate chips. Pop them into your microwave. Dip your rice cake in the melted peanut butter. Actually, you probably don't even need the little wooden, wooden dowel. It's more of a pain, I think, than it's worth. But go ahead and get your rice cake coated in the melted nut butter. So there's the rice cake coated in peanut butter. I definitely didn't use both tablespoons, probably just one of the tablespoons of peanut butter. Now we're going to put the rice cake in the chocolate to get it coated in that. Ooh, this looks so good. Who doesn't love chocolate and peanut butter together? Now I'm going to transfer my rice cake to a plate. I'm going to go ahead and put that wooden dowel under my rice cake so that as it is in the freezer because we're going to be putting it in the freezer. It'll actually stick to the dowel. You could literally skip the dowel if you want to, but at least this way it'll be something to hold the rice cake on. I also did not use all of the chocolate chips, so I'll make sure that when I build the recipe and when I share it on my website that it's actually the amount that I use to create this exact dessert. Now in the Instagram reel, she actually added the peanuts before the chocolate, but because I'm doing mini M&Ms, I wanted to put them on top because they're so cute and colorful. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few of the mini M&Ms right on top. She had both the front and back of hers with the peanuts, but because M&Ms are a little more sugary, a little more high calorie, high point, I'm only going to put about a tablespoon on the front of our rice cake. Look how adorable she is. We're going to go ahead and pop this into the freezer until the chocolate is solidified and the peanut butter on the inside, and then we will dig into our dessert. Okay, here she is. The stick actually stuck really well by putting it in the freezer. So I'm actually going to take the stick off, there we go, so that I can break this and show you guys what this looks like. Ooh, look at that. We've got peanut butter, chocolate, M&Ms. We definitely need to try it. Mmm, that's really good. I can taste the American Dream Nut Butter. It has really good flavor. And then the Lily's chocolate chips aren't too sweet, so it doesn't make it too sweet. And then the M&Ms, it's really good. It tastes like a decadent dessert. Really good, highly recommend. Definitely pick up the American Dream Nut Butter. I'll link it down below for you with 10% off, but this is gonna be my dessert and finish up my meals for the day. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my meals, the really good dinner recipe, the fun dessert recipe. I'll link all my packages and unboxings down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely don't forget to come join us there. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, that really is the best way to keep up with me day to day. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.